Okay, and Bill here, he is looking forward to a thick slab of ribs smothered in sauce. Well, that is good enough on its own, but now get ready for a sandwich that's going to take ribs to the next level. That's right. Got Joe Pierce, my buddy here from Slaps Barbecue, joining us now in the kitchen to show us how to assemble. Uh, this just it looks amazing. It's amazing. Number one, there's yeah. these big chunks of meat sitting over here, <laughs> and we're going to make a sandwich out of it. It's the mouth-watering, big Texan, the big Texan sandwich. So yep. we've had you on the show here a couple times before. We made uh, the the Reuben, the Reuben. We've made the Cuban, the Cuban, and now we're on to the big Texan, the big Texan. I couldn't find anything to rhyme, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. But so these are beef plate beef. ribs. Okay, which is is kind of different for Kansas City because most of Kansas City, you know, we're we're known for making pork ribs and spare ribs and stuff like that. Yep. What, talk about cooking beef ribs a little so bit. So beef ribs is a lot like cooking a brisket, yeah. right? So you got to cook it for a long period of time at a low temperature to get all this connective tissue, all this marbling needs to render out and and uh, cook down. So okay. the one thing you do on prep on these guys is you got to flip it over and you got to take this membrane off, mm -hmm. which is hard. It's completely different than a... Uh, and it's a lot bigger than It a, is, than absolutely. Pork, so you, uh, you just sit here and you pull this guy off okay. and then you rub it down with your favorite rub. Uh, I like to use... This is steak and chop seasoning. It's salt, oh, okay. pepper, onion, garlic. You'll do a heavy coat of this all the way around, and 12 hours later, you get something like this. <laughs> but we're also going to make a sauce here, and this is kind of a KC OG original style barbecue sauce. KC OG. So, that's right. Okay. So this is a, a homage to Gates, Arthur Bryant's yeah, LC. Is everybody who kind of put barbecue on the map in Kansas City. So we're going to start with some ketchup. Got to have ketchup in a KC barbecue sauce. Just a whole bunch of ketchup. Whole bunch of ketchup. All right. <clears throat> Apple cider vinegar. Okay. Now I've used a vinegar before, and I always come up with yep. a little bit more. It seems like a more Carolina approach to barbecue sure. with, the, with the vinegar in it, like that. Absolutely, it it is gives it a little tang. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know that's uh, that's what makes barbecue sauce good. That's so right. We got cumin and uh, cayenne, uh, garlic powder, celery seed, mm. salt, sugar. Now a lot of uh, does it have a, a sweet to it at all? What it's going to be a little sweet. sweet I mean, I, just, I put the most of anything I put in there was the most of sugar. Oh, okay. And then a little uh, <clears throat> chili powder, and then just a dab of liquid smoke. It needs just a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of blends goes a long way. Blends though. everything together. Yeah. We're going to mix this together here, which is awesome. So when you guys make your sauces like this, yep. do you how how big a batch do you make? Oh hundreds and hundreds of gallons. Really? Yeah, we make about a 300 gallon batch. But I, I just saw how much ketchup you just put in there, so I just imagined <laughs> what the size of tub it's, of ketchup It's big, was it's big, <laughs> absolutely. So well, now that we've got the sauce made, uh, we're gonna cut into these beef ribs. So okay. this is the awesome part about these beef ribs. I mean, you wow. can literally just- And it is peeled way back peel, from there. Peel Look at apart, that. and we're gonna get down to the meat here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna separate these out. And what, what would you say is the most difficult part about cooking the beef ribs? Because I know I've tried it before, sure. and it's just, mine always came out real tough and yep. just not I would say that nowhere you near that tip. Yeah, I would say you didn't cook them long enough, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's all about getting that connective tissue to render out. And you can see right here, all that connective tissue and all yeah. that fat just rendered out completely. And, uh, and if you fat take is about, flavor though, right? Fat is flavor. There we go. Fat is flavor. <laughs> uh, fat is flavor. So we're going to throw a couple big, thick slices on this guy. Okay. Just like that. We're gonna take some sauteed peppers and onions. Beautiful. Right on the top. We're gonna take our Provel cheese because I can't do anything without Provel cheese in Kansas City. If Joe yeah. comes here without a big tub of cheese. Cheese, there's a problem, right? I, I'm worried about right? it. Right. <laughs> and, and, th and then we're gonna do just a little bit, just a dab of this sauce. Okay. Right on the bun. And he just made the sauce. You saw him here just a few yep. moments ago, and there it is. And then that sucker's ready to go. Now, if I wanna get this, what do I gotta do? So. These are very delicate things, okay. right? So we're doing them one day a week okay. on Saturday. On Saturdays? On Saturdays. How busy yep. do you guys get on Saturdays? I know you guys have a line out the door Monday through yep. Friday. We have a line out the door on Saturday as well, but really? I tell you, these beef ribs are going to be worth the wait. They are absolutely amazing. If you don't want to take a bite of that big old sandwich, take a bite of this guy right here. I'm probably going to eat both because yeah. I really want some of that cheese too, but we're yeah. going to go after some of this here. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's the, that's the money maker right there. Oh, yeah. Well, Belinda, I'm going to be in a meat coma the rest of the show, <laughs> so uh, if you want to host the rest of it by yourself, that's fine with me. But right now, I'm going to eat, and over to you. Yep. Thank you, Joe. No problem.